Well, joining me today in Mitchell Garden here is Abby with Denver Urban Garden. She is their community uh, communications and development director, correct? Coordinator. But Coordinator. Yeah. <laughs> I like director better. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> well, thank you for meeting us here. Mm -hmm. I'm really impressed with this garden. Can you tell us a little bit more about Doug and its mission? Uh huh. Um, so, Denver Urban Gardens is a nonprofit. Um, mm -hmm. We've been around for uh, 26 years now. Wow. And our mission is to build and support community gardens. And how many community gardens have you built? Uh, over 100. Um, wow. By the end of this year, it should be um, close to 120. That's fantastic. Uh -huh. And this is all done with uh, with what kind of money? You get some money from the city and some from private donations as well, right? Um, yeah, most mostly competitive grants and, and private donations. And, okay. and there's a ton of community support. So we wouldn't be able to do this without all of the, the fantastic community support we receive. Well, no doubt. I mean, the, the plants here are beautiful. People obviously know what they're doing. Now, they get some mm -hmm. education involved with this as well? Um, for sure. We have um, gardening resources and guides available online. And I think one of the most um, the most wonderful things about a community garden is that chances are, if, if you're not a gardener yourself, the person um, next to you um, in their plot might be a gardener. And so uh -huh. you can really learn a lot from your neighbors. Um, from, from your plot neighbors, from the rest of the people in your community garden, and that's really what it's all about. Well, you bet, and, and I understand that there's, there's a smallish fee to be a part of the Doug mm -hmm. Gardens. Yep, it's, a, it's about $45 a year and helps us cover the costs of compost and water. Well, that's handy. So you uh -huh. bring compost to the people to let them dig we it do. into their soil and uh -huh. stuff? We do. Excellent. And do you allow any kind of pesticide usage, or is this all organic? All organic. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. Yep, yep, that's great. All right. Yeah. Well, um, I also know that mm -hmm. you guys have put together a little bit of a documentary about mm -hmm. how communities are healthier when there are community gardens around. How did that come about? Absolutely. Um, so we have, um, for about six or seven years now, been involved in a research project with the Colorado School of Public Health. Mm -hmm. um, we felt uh, intuitively for a very long time that gardens were good for communities, good for neighborhoods, um, good for personal health. Um, but we, well, wanted... we, all, we all know that already, right? <laughs> Absolutely. We, yeah. all, we all feel that, but uh -huh. um, we wanted some numbers, um, sure. and, and we wanted to be able to, um, to, to look, is this really happening? And um, with our partners over at the Colorado School of Public Health, um, mm -hmm. we found that, in, indeed, um, community gardens are great for neighborhoods. Um, they help people be healthier, they help people feel better um, and, and safer and happier about their own neighborhoods. Um, and, and their own personal health, and, and we just think that's wonderful. And so and we raising have a, some of their own food. Exactly, and getting, uh, getting their hands dirty, um, being out in the sun, talking to their neighbors. Um, getting kids involved. Absolutely, exactly. that's a huge, huge part know, of it. You know, this is here at the, in kind of a school setting. Uh, close to a third of our community gardens are um, school-based. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then the other nice thing I, that you told me about earlier mm -hmm. was your the, the planter row, or the giving back of mm -hmm. excess uh, mm -hmm. food that's produced to local food banks. Yeah, abs absolutely. Most of our gardens participate in either um, a Grow a Row program where, where they will grow a row um, that will be specifically donated to a local um, food bank or, or a particular plot, um, or people will just take their excess veggies um, and, and donate them to either um, people in need in their neighborhood, friends and neighbors, or to, to food banks. Now, how can our viewers who are interested in getting mm -hmm. a plot with mm -hmm. Denver Urban Gardens, how can they get in contact with you? What's the best way to go about starting that process? So visit our website at www.dug.org, so just doug.org. Um, click on the Community Gardens link right there on the left. Okay. And we have a, a list that's organized by um, neighborhood and then also a map. So just zoom in to wherever you are um, and, and find the garden that would be convenient to you. Give us a call and we can put you in touch with the volunteer garden leader. And you can find all that also on our Dig In Colorado website. So check us out there as well. Thank you so much, Thank Abby. You so it was much. wonderful this was a meeting pleasure. you yeah. and touring this beautiful garden.